welcome back on I need help at C squared. In this uh, example, we're going to look to how to write the uh, all six trigonometric function for the angle theta, right? So let's start with the first one, sine. Sine of theta. If you remember, sine is defined as opposite over hypotenuse, right? So in our case, what do we get? Opposite side is 4. Hypotenuse is 5. That's it. Let's go to the second one, cosine. Cosine of theta is defined as adjacent. Adjacent side to the angle and hypotenuse over hypotenuse. So, in this case, let's take a look. The adjacent is 3. The adjacent leg. We need, we need to be very careful of that. Because the hypotenuse is also adjacent, but we're looking for adjacent leg. So, adjacent leg, which is 3 over hypotenuse 5. And that's it. Let's go to the next one, which is tangent. Tangent is defined as uh, opposite, opposite leg over uh, adjacent, adjacent leg. So what does it mean in this case? If you said 4 over 3, that is correct. And these are probably the trigonometric function used most of the time. But then we have three more. The next one is cosecant. The cosecant is the reciprocal of sine of these guys. They go together. And did you see, did you hear reciprocal, right? So if you want to use a definition, hypotenuse over opposite sine. So in this case, it would be pi over 4. The next one is secant. Secant of theta. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So the J, um, hypotenuse, sorry, over adjacent. So in this case, 1 over 3. And the last one, called tangent which is going to be the reciprocal of tangent that will be adjacent over opposite it will be three over four. and that's it if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help thank you